but to suffer the rest of your life. <laughs> and you'll suffer with it until the day you die. Because God's purpose is that you live. That's right. And that you live. Amen. Always remember that you got to lean on him. Amen. God, Amen. help me to get to the point Amen. that I got to lean on you. Yes. In a simple story, how can God cause man to, to lean on him? Yeah. <laughs> Bible says, the Bible says, here what the scripture says. Now here's the question. Here what the question is. Here's the question. Before the situation, a prayer went up. Amen. This was the prayer. Be careful what you're praying for. This was the prayer. The prayer was, deliver me, I pray thee, verse 11, from the hand of my brother. That's what Jacob is saying. From the, for I fear him. Least he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. David, uh, Jacob says, God, free me. Please deliver me from the hand of my brother. Or else he's going to come and kill me. He's going to kill my children and everything. God, you got to help me. You got to help me. And then the Bible says, here. Verse 17, hear the story. And he commanded the foremost saying, when Esau, my brother, meets thee. Look at verse 17. Y'all reading it with me? And ask thee saying, whose art thou? And whither thou go, whither goest thou? And whose are these before thee? The Bible says in verse 18, then thou shalt say, they be the servant Jacob's, and it was a present sent unto my lord Esau, and behold also he is behind us. So here's a gift. He's behind us. I'm going to soften you up a little bit. All right? You all should know what I'm saying. Some of y'all can't get along with each other. So you soften it up a little bit. You know, you might bring some food. You bring something nice. Just soften the person up just a little bit. Thank you, sir. And the Bible, look at verse 19. I like to make scriptures come alive. Is that all right, y'all? That's right. Yeah. All right. Don't, don't get bored now. Don't get bored. Don't get bored. <laughs> and so commanded he the second, the third, and all that followed the drove, saying, On this manner shall you speak unto Esau when you find him. Then the Bible says, moving right along, <clears throat> because we're talking about how God's going to bless you now. Mm -hmm. All right? It says, and say ye moreover, behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing something to you, but Jacob is behind you. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind now, God knows your name. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And he knows everything that is about you. That's why your name, not for everyone, but that's why your name, the name that you have. God knows your name. All right? And he says, for he said, I will appease him with the present. Oh? I will appease him. Y'all reading what I'm reading? I will appease him with the present that goeth before me, and afterwards I will see his face. Pre-adventure, he's going to accept me. First of all, I don't, I'm really afraid of you, so I'm going to give you a gift right. so you can be happy with me. Is that right? Amen. And then when you do see me, you're not going to be as mad as you really were. Right. <laughs> but that don't work for some of y'all, because some of y'all don't care what kind of gift you give me. I'm going to be mad at you and tell you, whatever. Uh, I don't like you, and you can give me everything you want. I might like you if you give me a million dollars. <laughs> but outside of that, I just don't like you. Who am I talking to? On, you won't man. raise your hand anyway. That's all right. <laughs> but, 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 but God knows it. He knows. 
He knows. He knows. Keep on, keep reading. Hear what the Bible said. Then he took them and sent them over the brook and sent them over their head. Now it switches. After Jacob did his part, after you do, I'm talking to you, after you do your part, now it's time for God to do his part. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. See, God's plan is different than your plan. Uh, yes. Hear what he said. Now keep in mind, because this is an important point. Keep in mind now that what your plans are, and you're acting them out, God has another plan. And his plan, he sees in your future. That's right. He sees beyond it. Right? Because first of all, your name suggests who you are. Mm. You are a schemer to start with. That's right. And a liar. Mm. Your name suggests uh -huh. you are full of stuff to start with. Amen. That's your character. That's who you are. Because you're, you're, you're born in sin. Yes. And iniquity shapes you. Uh -huh. It shapes you. <laughs> so you act out what's in your nature. Even Holy Ghost people do that. That's right. Hello. Yeah. Holy Ghost people do that. Uh -huh. That's why those that don't have a Holy Ghost can't figure out what the Holy Ghost is. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they can't figure out what the Holy Ghost is? Because they see those with the Holy Ghost acting crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then they don't have it, and they, they're all confused mm -hmm. because they don't understand the Holy Ghost. <laughs> because even those with the Holy Ghost still have a nature. Yes, sir. And that nature still is of the flesh. That's why Holy Ghost people get mad. That's why Holy Ghost people argue in the pulpit. That's why Holy Ghost people go to court with each other. Hello. That's why Holy Ghost people get in the church and start fighting one another. That's why Holy Ghost people still don't like each other and don't speak to each other and walk right on by. That's why Holy Ghost people still, uh, you know, they'll, 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 they'll put the job first, then they put God first. Come on, man. That's why Holy Ghost people are critical of everybody. Of everybody. And the only one right is that. Mm. That's why Holy Ghost people. Come on. Yeah. I'm talking about Holy Ghost. Come on, come on. Y'all know what Holy Ghost oh, people yeah. are. Yeah. Some of y'all with the Holy Ghost, hey, you can say nothing now. <laughs> Holy Ghost people. Oh, what are you talking about those that don't have toys? Holy Ghost people. Uh -huh. Woo! That's the one I'm talking about. Holy Ghost people. Oh, yeah. they, they're full of it. Uh -huh. They're full of power. Mm. <laughs> they're full of anointing. <laughs> <laughs> they're putting God first. But they got their picks in the church. Come on. Right. Right. The Holy Ghost people. Right. Oh, no, no, Holy Ghost people. Oh, man. So the real Holy Ghost people stand up. <laughs> Holy Ghost people. They have respects of persons. The Holy Ghost people. Holy Ghost people come to church and fall asleep. <laughs> That's the Holy Ghost people. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the Holy Ghost people. They have a form of godliness. Yeah, right. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Oh, but they deny God. Yeah. And the power thereof. They have a form of God. The Holy Ghost people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. the, the Holy Ghost people are the ones that self-righteous in their way. Yeah, they forget where God brought them from. Yeah, I got mine, it's yours to get. Yeah, no yeah, now, those are the Holy Ghost people in general. But the Holy Ghost people that are called out by God, yeah, they don't have that nature. That's right. That's right. <laughs> They've been bought with a price. That's right. That's right. They're, they're always staying before God. God, you got to help me. Because i got to be able to lean on God. God, you got to give me something to lean on. Now, you thinking that I'm saying leaning on this. And that's who God is. Y'all wrong. <laughs> That's the stick is not God. Y'all yeah. hey, hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. The stick is not God. Yeah. Hear what the Bible said. I want y'all to listen to this story. Interesting story. 
<laughs> All right, here it is. How many of y'all read this before? Amen. All right. How many of y'all ready for another revelation? Come on. How many of y'all ready for another revelation? Amen. How many of y'all ready for? Some of y'all never even read that. You shaking your head. You don't even, how many of y'all ready before? I'm talking to church people. How many of you ready for another revelation? Amen. It's right in the Word. Right. It's very so simple. Right. Here's what the Bible says. And the Bible says here, um, Jacob was left alone. Didn't I say sometimes God got to get you alone? Is that right? I, I, I want God to get me alone. Amen. Yeah. Because when God get me alone, it's only between me and God. Then. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Now, I don't know how I'm going to come out. But as long as God gets me alone. Yes, Lord. No wonder the writer says, gosh, if I can dwell in the presence of the most high, uh -huh. secret. then there will be a secret place and I'll abide under the shadow yes. Yes. of the almighty. Yes. Yes. If I can just dwell in his presence. Yes. That's where I want to be. Yes. I want to be in the presence of God. Yes. In the presence of God, there's no foolishness. No, there's no mess going That's on. Right. That's right. There's no arguing and jealousy. In the presence of God is only his glory. Yes. God, get me to the point for your glory. Now, how many of y'all want to be in the presence of God? Yes. Want to be in the presence of God, right? Yes. When I get to the presence of God, sometimes I've got to fight for what I want. Yes. Amen. I mean, everything doesn't come easy. Sometimes you gotta fight for it. We wrestle not against the flesh and blood anyway. But, but you know these principalities and powers, but when you're dealing with God and you're wrestling with God, you're not wrestling against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. You're dealing then with God. That's something different then. Because while you're dealing with God, it's God who's in control. He's allowing you to think that you are doing it of yourself. Mm -hmm. But God is in control. Yes. That's where I want to be. Yes, sir. I, I, I just want to be in the presence of God. Yes. That's, Lord. That's all I want, so, y'all. Okay. Jacob was left alone. There rustled, the Bible said. Mm -hmm. Moses says, rustled with a man. Mm -hmm. with, with him. He, until breaking of day. Mm -hmm. I know. He wrestled with this until the breaking of day. Hey, my God. Here he is wrestling in the sense with God. And God is permitting him to wrestle with him. <laughs> God is permitting it. Hear what I'm saying? God is permitting it to happen. And then the Bible says, when he saw that he prevailed not against him, the Bible said, here we go, said he touched the hollow of his thigh. Woo! Touched the hollow of his thigh. Now, you take a rustler, for example, who has lost his ability to walk, he can't fight hard anymore. Because he's got that condition that's taken out of the socket there. Yeah. And as a result, he doesn't have the same strength. Can you imagine preaching up here and watching people sleep in church? With all this good stuff? <laughs> this amazes me. Y'all go for if it wasn't for guests in the church, I'd keep y'all to 4 o'clock preaching. <laughs> Thank God we got guests in the church. <laughs> the guests saved y'all. You done know, saved folks in the church. Mm. Right. You're going to bring some more guests next Sunday, right? <laughs> hear what he says. Hear, hear what he says. And he, the Bible says, And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh uh -huh. and was out of joint, and he wrestled with him. And then he said, he said, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Free me. Rustling with your head, you got to let me go. He said, because the day is breaking. The day is breaking. And he says, I will not let you go. I'm not going to let you go. He rustling with this force. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. All right. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. All right. Wait a minute. All right. There is a reason that I'm fighting this. All right. You have to bless me. Mm -hmm. 
Okay? Now hear what it says. And he said unto him, What is your name? He said, What's your name? Now the scripture here says, when he said, What is your name? He said, My name, or he said, Jacob. Now Jacob means that which grabs or that which holds on to something. That's what Jacob means. But Jacob also means uh, a schemer. So what is your name? I'm a schemer. What is your name? I don't really want to tell you my name. But I'm a liar. And I deceive people. So you need to tell me. I'm wrestling with something that came out of glory. It already knew who I was, but allowed me to keep fighting it. And what was fighting, he didn't really know it clearly. But the force he was fighting already knew who he was. That's right. Amen. And I'm going to allow you to keep fighting, persevering, and suffering through it. I'm going to allow you to do it because I know who you really are. Amen. You's a schemer. <laughs> and you a liar. Woo. And you are in the presence of God Almighty mm -hmm. with your lying self. Jesus. Who am I talking to? And your scheming self. Come on, come on. You are a crook. Mm. Jesus. My in the presence of God. Yes. Oh, Jesus. And you're fighting me through the breaking of death. Hallelujah. Am I not greater than you? That which you are wrestling with is greater than you because you are made out of flesh and blood and bone. But I'm not. I'm not. What's your name? He said, my name is, he said, Jacob. Uh-huh. And he said, wait a minute. Thy name shall be called no more. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You are going to change my name, God. That's right. That's right. Wrestling with God. Because Americans, you have too much. Mm. Y'all right. don't even know what it's like. Come on, come on. To come from maybe where the brother come from. Where the palace would crumble because of an earthquake. And people were dying. Living on the streets. A groups would go, but apostolic people would go also. I know Spanish people in Santo Domingo who went over to Haiti to give help and also to carry the one load and one faith and one baptism. All right. And when they carried it, they gave it and went back to Santo Domingo, which is close. Yeah which is close to the country. And he gave the word. While we were just looking and saying, oh, look what happened. God still got people who were saying, we're going to do more than look what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go deliver the word and get help to yeah. them. Go ahead. Go ahead. God is a helper. Now, That's right. wait a minute. I like this story. I like this. Because the answer is not in the scripture. Mm -hmm. The Bible said here that he touched the hollow of his thigh. Mm -hmm. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. So he touched the hollow of his thigh and his joint was out as he was wrestling with this force or this angel or the presence of God. And then the Bible here says, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let you go except you bless me. He said, what's your name? He said, my name is Jacob. And he said, thou shalt call, you shall be called no more Jacob, 
But now we're gonna call you 